St. Clair of Assisi, a woman of prayer her entire life. She belonged to a noble family, but shortly after she met St. Francis of Assisi, you know him and you love him, she traded in her beautiful long hair, expensive gowns, and noble lifestyle for a simple dress and a Franciscan life. Soon after she joined the convent, her father found her and attempted to persuade her to come back home to give this up, but she refused and said she would have no other husband but Jesus Christ. Some years later, she became very ill, but remained unbothered by her own pain and suffering. She considered it an honor to serve and love the Lord in this way, in her cross. And interestingly enough, she became the patron saint of television because it is believed that while she was sick and bedridden and couldn't attend mass, she could see it almost projected on the wall of her bedroom. Keep in mind, this was like 1216, so she was like incredibly ahead of the times. Why didn't I ever think of her during like live stream masses? I'm sorry, St. Clair. She really felt our pain there. As you could probably guess, she was all about the Eucharist. That's why she's commonly depicted with a monster because it was like her favorite. <laughs> I mean, same. It was her lifeline, her protection, her love, her everything. And so just hearing this about her life, I am inspired, and I hope you're inspired too, to celebrate St. Clair today by celebrating the Eucharist. And so since most of us can go to mass, can go to church, let's take advantage of that. Let's go see and receive Jesus in the Eucharist. And if for some reason you can't leave your house or you can't get to a church, maybe you could live stream adoration and just recognize the presence of Jesus in this sacrament and how close he is to each one of us, just like he remained close to St. Clair through everything. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. Bye, see you next time.